Hi, I'm Adam. And I'm Kara. And welcome to Crunchy Cozy Games. We've got a, a special treat because we just got a special delivery. Uh, two years ago, I think it was. I, it's been a while. Yeah. I backed the Kickstarter for Wonderland's War. Mm -hmm. And I think I told you at the beginning of last year that my most anticipated game of us playing and receiving and getting yes. would be Wonderland's War. So I've been looking forward to this game quite a bit. A um, long time, yeah. I will say I am kind of... I'm in awe of the size of the box here. It's big. Like, you can kind of see it. It's sort of your normal calyx dimensions, as it were. But then it is so thick. I mean, just look at that. So we're going to do a little unboxing here of us kind of seeing everything that's inside in all of its glory. Mm -hmm. um, it's just very striking artwork right away. It is. I mean, if you look at the back of it here, I mean, this just screams something that wants to be played. I mean, mm -hmm. I think it... it goes along with everything that we've talked about like how much we like different aesthetics the art style in this yes. is just so cool it's very cool it's very unique as well i don't know that we have another one that quite looks like this which is very cool and i did compare to some of our other kickstarters because you know it seems like kickstarter editions the deluxes mm -hmm. they always come in pretty large boxes you know That's i'm thinking true. of like septima that we received last year and like castles of burgundy special edition yes uh this box is bigger than those it is. It's not quite as big as a Gloomhaven or a Frosthaven. No, we did check. <laughs> but it's a chunky boy. Uh, so if you'll hand me the knife there, we'll get started. Um, this one also, so fun thing, fun fact about Kickstarter, you can't actually launch the same product on Kickstarter. Oh. So this is actually a second printing of the game. Okay. Uh, but they launched it with the Shards of Madness mini expansion, which is that little box there. So it's extra cards to play along with it. Um, and then, of course, there's a couple of add-ons that I did. I got the, the ring bases for all the minis so that if, for instance, you take control of one of those as a faction, you can clip it onto the base so we all know who controls that. And then it's and then, like a promo card pack. Yeah. And then a promo card pack, just things that they've done at different mm -hmm. trade shows that they sent with us. Yeah. All right, so the plastic is off now. Let's take a look. I will say one thing that I am addicted to when it comes to board games is I love opening them up, punching out the me pieces, too. and doing all of that. It's Ooh, super fun for me. So something already that I am loving about this box, before you get too far, yeah. is this panel right here. Oh, yeah. This is one of my favorite things the board games do. <laughs> <laughs> the panel on the box itself that tells you how to put it away. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, and... <laughs> It really is a game changer. For, for for the playability and like like usability of the game. There have definitely been games that I have opened up, I've punched out all the pieces, and then I'm like, oh gosh, where does everything go? Yes, absolutely. Oh wow. Okay, so for starters, uh, this game is kind of a bag builder. And you're putting different chips in the bag, and these cloth bags are really nice. One for each Ooh. different faction. Oh my gosh, I love that the art is printed on them too. Yes. Ah, oh, that's so nice. Yeah, that's gorgeous. And the colors are just so vibrant and, uh, yeah, those are cool. So you've got Alice and the Cheshire Cat. You've got the Mad Hatter. Um, you've got the Jabberwock. And then the Queen of Hearts, of course. Yeah. But all of those look great. Even something I like, you know, Mad Hatter and um, the Cheshire Cat are kind of a similar color. Like one's sort of pink and one's purple. But the way they've done the art there, it just, it looks so good. I mean, they're easy to tell apart. Mm -hmm. Love that. And then, okay, we've got base bases for standees. Always okay. a nice thing. Yes. And then here are the different pieces. Just look at that. All right, so here's the Jabberwock. Um, the Cheshire Cat. Oh, those cats look at those are cat so people. cute. So cute. Um, I'm guessing that this is the Queen of Hearts yep. card army. Yes. Got your cubes and your score trackers. Oh, and the Mad Hatter has Teapot. Uh-huh. Ah, and true to the book, Alice in Wonderland, um, Alice has chess pieces. Yes. And then we've got some shards. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Love that. Okay. And Ooh. now we get into the real thing that makes this deluxe. So part of the game that you're doing is you've got this area control aesthetic. Um, as you're 
undergoing the war, you were placing these big castles throughout. Uh, and these are gorgeous. I mean, they're plastic, but they've got nice weight to them. Yeah. Um, I really like the design. Look at the Mad Hatter's oh, teapot, the teapot castles. They're how cool so those cute. are. Oh, those are really cool. Yeah, we'll have to do, we'll do pictures of these. And oh post yeah, them. for sure. Because now we get into the actual minis themselves and these are beautiful. I mean, just what a cool production of all of those. Um, you've got your main figures on the bottom and then all your, I guess, minions that you pick up through mm -hmm. the gameplay. Oh, just so well done. And my goodness, they're big. Yeah, how big is this board? These pieces are huge. Yeah. I'll well, we'll see in just a moment, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. That's it's a, a big board. That's a, that is, oh, is it six panels? Looks like it. I knew it was quite a table hog. Yeah. I don't know if this is going to be... <laughs> this is going to be a top of the table type of game, I think. Yes. Okay. I don't even know if you can see it. Yeah, so part of what you're doing in the game is you have this tea party phase where you are moving around the tea party, grabbing different cards and things that are going to either add to your bag or add minions or add special abilities to you. But you have to be aware of madness shards because if you draw those out of your bag, you could be in a lot of trouble. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's like you're sitting around a little tea party. Yeah, exactly. That is a gorgeous board. And then all the different areas that you're fighting for control over are around that map. So you've got like the red keep down here. Yeah, don't poke my eye out. I'm sorry. It's, this is <laughs> hard to manage. Well, it'll be better when it's flat on a table. Yes. The pool of tears, the meadow of the living flowers. The told you would. Oh, it's just so cool. Yeah. Then your battle track up there where you're tracking your different uh -huh. point values as you're scoring things in battle, which Very is really cool. cool. And then here's your different player boards. Again, just gorgeous art on there with an explanation of how everything works. You've got the Cheshire Cat and the Jabberwock, um, the Mad Hatter, the Queen of Hearts, and then Alice herself. Okay. All of them have special abilities. All of them have special things that they can do. So, so does this really play kind of play. asynchronous? Or... Um, it's not entirely asynchronous. Everybody okay. has kind of an asynchronous power, but the okay. overall game plays the same. Sure. I mean, you're going to be doing the same things. Okay. It's a little bit of a mix of, you know, it's got the area control aspect, but honestly, the battling is a lot like Quacks of Quedlinburg. Oh. Because you're reaching into your bag sure. to pull out what power you might have, and okay. you're going to throw in stuff like that that has special abilities. But you've also got to watch out for madness because that's, for instance, your madness dies there. You, you add shards to your bag. Okay. Um, when you draw madness, if you draw too much, then you lose the fight automatically. Sure. And so we've got some nice cards in here. Some quest cards. Yeah. And then some of the smaller cards, the minions and stuff like that that you'll mm -hmm. get to place in battle. Oh, I am just so impressed. This looks beautiful. I'm just gonna reference cards. And then under here. There's more. Oh yeah, this is all the cardboard <laughs> stuff. So you know, the Kickstarter offered an option for the like hard plastic um, chips. I didn't opt in for those. They were kind of on the pricey side, but like here's your different chips that you're pulling. Um, and we'll punch those out at a later time. Yeah. Um, but they've got so many great chips that add power to your board. Sure. Uh, there's another row of them. So, question for you. I yeah. see the the back panel of these is um, a lot of figures. Yeah. So, are these standees used in addition to the big the big figures that we got in this deluxe edition, or are these the standard components? You know, I'm not entirely sure. I think these are probably the standard components. Okay. And so, probably the deluxe edition includes all the minis. But if you just sure. bought the retail version, you'd probably get these that you put in standees. I mean, I will be honest. I love <coughs> how colorful these are yeah it's beautiful um i the, it's just really striking art like i'm looking at the caterpillar down here it's so cool <laughs> he's so grumpy um and tweedledee and tweedledum yes definitely giving um humpty dumpty vibes even though humpty dumpty is right there as well <laughs> um i will say another nice little touch if you can see right here they've got uh little i i don't know what you would call them pogs i guess 
for some of their other games, like Tidal Blades, which is one that I've been dying to try. Yeah. Uh, just a nice little feature. I mean, you know, if you're getting people that are interested in your game and they love your artwork, why not include something like that so that they remember the title? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the whole game unpacked. Uh, I look forward to maybe taking some pictures and putting them up online yeah. so people can yeah. follow along with that. Follow us on Instagram to check out the photos that we end up taking. Yeah. That's going to be... What's the Instagram um, handle? The Instagram is the same as YouTube. It's Crunchy Cozy Games. Awesome. Well, yeah, we'll hopefully see you there and check back on the channel. Be sure to like and subscribe so you can see more videos, more unboxings that we do as we get new games. Thanks so much for stopping by.